Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, man. to you. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're feeling strong. Uh, I want to encourage you today from the Word of God. It's found in 2 Corinthians 1.20. 2 Corinthians 1.20, it says, And all the promises of God are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. So all the promises of God are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. And what does that mean exactly? It means that all the promises of God are yes. They are yours. The promises of God are yes and amen. And amen is like this exclamation point, man. All of God's promises to his people, to his bride, to his church are yes. All his promises are there for you. All his promises there are for you to receive and to live in and to walk after. They are yes and they are amen. He is in the details of the promises that he's working out for your life. Why? Because he wants to produce his glory through us. So let me tell you something, child of God, something you need to understand. God is saying his promises are yes and amen, but there is something you need to understand. Salvation is free, but everything else requires some work. There is nothing that comes to us without a cost. And so if you are living in the anticipation of the promises of God, you need to really begin to actively pray into them. You need to really begin to actively begin to seek them. You need to get your posture in a place to receive what God has for you. Because God's, God is saying on his part, it's yes and amen. He'll do the work. He will heal the sick. He will deliver. He will set free. He'll bring back that wayward child. He'll heal your marriage. He will do these things. That's what he promises. His promises are yes and amen. He'll do it. But there's a part for you to play. And that part for you to play is to stand in anticipation, to stand in faith. See, this verse is married with the a verse in, in, um, in Ephesians, or, I'm sorry, in Hebrews, where it says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. See, they're married together because we have to be a people of faith that sit in the presence of God and believe these promises and then have the patience for them to be worked out. So we stand, we believe, we posture ourselves for the promises of God and then do season God his promises are yes and amen. So I don't know what you believe in God for. I don't know what you're hoping God will do today, what you're standing on, his word, his truth. I want you to understand that his promises are yes and amen. He will do the work. He will bring it to pass in your life. But he's looking for people that are going to believe him, truly believe him, people that are going to stand for it, people that are going to pray it out, people that are going to travail for it. People that are going to cry out for it, say, God, this is what you said. This is what I believe. People that are going to rebuke the enemy and say, this is my promise. You can't have any part of it. People that are going to stand in the word. People that are going to guard their heart from the lies the enemy will say it'll never happen. That'll stand there. Why? So that the glory of God can be seen through you and I. That's why he's saying yes and amen. So that we can be blessed and that the world can see his glory through our testimonies. So today, posture yourself. For your promise. Get yourself in the position that God has for you so that he can bless your life because truly his promise to you, child of God, is yes and amen. And so, Father, I pray for everyone within the sound of my voice today. I pray that you would awaken the promises that you have in their heart, Lord God. Promises that they haven't even thought of in a long time, God. Promises that seem so buried, God, that you would begin to awaken it. You'd begin to reveal them again. They'd begin to posture themselves to receive because I believe we're in a season of receiving the fulfillment of our promises, Lord God. I pray you place your hand upon them now, God. Give them wisdom, give them encouragement, give them faith, because faith pleases you, God, and cause them to line up with your word. And we thank you today, God, that all your promises are yes and amen to your glory and through us, in Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, everybody.